Hey gang, I'm broke, and because of that, I've been forced to call this bridge my home. It's not all bad though. The teeth I ordered came in right before I left my place. I'm wearing them right now. I think they may be used. I've been settling in nicely. I sleep here, and as long as I'm quiet, the people in the nearby houses let me rummage through their trash for leftovers. Real considerate of them. The washroom situation is a little rough. The nearest public restroom's about two kilometers away, so late at night when I have to relieve myself of a mighty number two, it's a tad difficult. Needless to say, I've uh, soiled myself on more than one occasion. It's been an interesting experience, other than my now unusable underwear. No complaints from me. Ah, oh, who am I kidding? This is horrible. Sleeping on rocks isn't half as good as it sounds, and the nearby residents don't even let me take their scraps. I was lying to make myself feel better. It's all Awesome Crusher 15's fault. He did this to me. I never should have trusted him. WW dot pay me so I can help your music career that will go nowhere dot com? What was I thinking? Website names aren't supposed to be that long. If he was legit, the website name would have been three words long, maximum. And then there's a contract. I couldn't read that size one font. It's gotta be all kinds of illegal to make something that important unreadable. Problem is, I can't take it to court because I can't afford an attorney. I'm gonna get my revenge. I don't know how yet, but I'm gonna take back what's mine. And I'm moving out from under this bridge. I think the coyotes have figured out that I'm staying here and they're bound to strike at any moment. This is how I'll get him. Let me explain. Now obviously, Awesome Crusher 15, or as I like to call him, Unawesome Crusher 15, <laughs> is doing well for himself. I mean, it's not like just about anybody can go and start a lemonade business just out of the blue as he did. I bet my song had something to do with that. But anyway, I'm planning to hit one of these joints and grab as much cash as humanly possible. Now, obviously, I can't very well do that by myself, so I need a crew. And that's what this is. I'm gonna see if there are any interested parties who are willing to be part of the crew. Here comes someone now! Hello, Mr. King Gamers? Yeah. But, but what are you doing here? I'm here to be part of the crew. Yeah, but why? Because of you. After you put me on your show, you basically ruined my entire career. Nobody wanted anything to do with a person associated with G-Man Mendoza, ex-wife hater. My, I lost all of my subscribers and I got demonetized. Even chicken wingers didn't want to talk to me. Besides that, I'm willing to put our differences aside and work together and get the job done. <laughs> Alright, I hate to ruin your sob story here, pal, but do you think that maybe people wanted nothing to do with you because my show proved? just how unfunny you really are? What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> well, I wouldn't want to watch someone who couldn't make a single funny joke to save their life. What? You're literally doing this right now! No, I don't think so. Whatever, man. Am I in or out? Sorry, I, I just don't think you're a great fit. Okay. <laughs> King Gamers, wait! So, what's the heist gonna be? We're robbing a lemonade stand. Hmm, good thinking. Those places make bank. Yeah, especially in the summer. It's just the season. Lemonade's pretty good. Yeah. Especially when you've got good quality lemons. Mm hmm So, when, when are the others gonna come? Soon. Uh, it doesn't seem like it. Look, 
People will come. You came, didn't you? Uh, well, look, we just have to be patient, all right? I don't think the shine's working. It works! Plus, it's the best I could do with the limited resources I had. I, I don't know, it just doesn't seem attractive. Like, add a smiley face or something. A smiley face? A smiley... This isn't the cool water club, man. We're, we're trying to appeal to criminals. Criminals don't go for smileys. How about this? What if we're just quiet for a few minutes? Okay, man. Great. You ever think about that? Okay, let's call it a day, shall we? Oh, oh sounds good. <laughs> Bro, giraffes are so huge, like it's crazy. Okay. Marcos Jarus? Who do you want? <laughs> I don't know, man. How, how are you doing? Call me a clown. Whoa, whoa, chillax there, bud. Sorry? You disrespected me. You called me a clown. Look, man, I, I don't know anything about that. Not moments after you sang that song, he breaks up with me. You ruined my relationship. We were both happy. You couldn't just keep your mouth shut, could you? And leave us alone in peace. Well, Greg didn't tell me anything. Cut the bullshit. I know you. he's dating you. I wish! I failed! The song didn't work! Hmm. If that's true, then why did he break up with me? Shut up and leave! Okay, you heard him. Let's bounce. We can't leave him like this. That many Red Bulls can't be good for someone. Okay, fine. Okay, pal. I was gonna tell you this, but we have an insane way to make you a lot of money to make, to buy all the Red Bulls you want. Yeah, yeah, me and him are planning a heist, and we're gonna make us rich, and we would be willing to cut, cut you in, yeah? Are you playing with me, kid? Nope, not at all. Not cap laughing. How about it, you in? Yeah, man. Also, for this heist to go smoothly, yeah, you need to cut down on the Red Bull for this one. And after, you can just go crazy. Alright, fine. What the hell was that? What? You t told me I had to go get him and we I got us a new a new member. Okay. Qualifications? I can tie a cherry stem with my tongue. Really? No. I like lemonade. Whatever, you're hired. Ah, uh, let's go. Trust me, Mr. Crusher 15. I won't disappoint you. You already have. Just get behind the booth and start selling some lemonade. Yes, sir, boss man. The last stand is ready. That's great. Soon we'll be able to afford to go on a nice vacation together. Yes, we will. I'll see you soon. Bye. See you later, babe. Okay, fellas. Great to have you guys here. Why don't we go around the circle and introduce ourselves? I'll start. My name is G-Man. I'm a big advocate for mosquito rights, and I'm really proud of my ability to breathe. Who's next? Okay, why don't we just go over our roles for the job then? We're gonna need a getaway driver. This person will also need to supply the vehicle. Any takers? Yeah, I can do that. Fantastic! Can you have the vehicle by tomorrow? Yeah, no problem. Awesome. So me and Marcos will be the ones actually robbing the stand. Only problem is firearms. Normally, I'd go to my supplier, but uh, I don't have the bones to pay for them. Don't worry about that, I got my own supplier. Okay, that's taken care of. 
One last thing, disguises, so that nobody can recognize us. I, I guess I can take care of this. Any questions? This joint you speak of, do you know your way around this place? I know that it sells lemonade. Well, you gotta know the layout of this place if you're trying to pull out a robbery this complicated. He's right. I've seen enough movies to know that's basically robbery 101. You make a good point. All right, we'll scout the standout. Just don't act suspicious. That's the place? Yeah. It's kind of underwhelming, don't you think? Don't let appearances fool you. That place is just crawling with bones, just waiting for us to take. But where? All I see is a dumpy looking girl sitting there looking like a dunce. Yeah, we're gonna need a closer look. Who wants to volunteer to investigate? Hey guy, I saw you peering through your binoculars at this fine establishment. What? No, no, I, I don't know anything about that. Yes you do, you and your pals over there. Never met him. How's business? Booming, I've sold 15 whole cups today. Well, I bought 13 of them and my parents bought the other two. Wow. 25 bones per cup, you must make a lot of money. Sure do. Want to see where I keep the money? Oh yeah, that would be great. Okay, I keep it in here. You see, I like keeping the money in here because when I wear them, I feel rich. God. Okay. Thanks. Nice meeting you. Bye-bye. What'd you learn? Learn where she keeps the bones. Where? In her boots. Remind me to bring Lysol on the day of the heist. All right, whatever. Just go get your things and then we'll regroup tomorrow.
All right, you guys get your stuff? All right, good. Um, in terms of, you know, uh, identity concealing disguises, I wanted to get ski masks, but I could only afford one. Don't worry, though. I have alternatives for you two. So, if you just watch my demonstration here. Works like a charm. I think I may have been better off the side of the road drowning myself in Red Bull. I did the best I could. Just show us the guns. Fine. I had to go through a great length to get these. Hey, yo, what the f man? You gotta be kidding me. Great lengths. Hey, these bad boys cost a dollar and fifty. King Gamers, just show us what you got. Okay. Follow me. She's a beaut, ain't she? I call it the threesome. What the f is this? It's a getaway vehicle. Don't you like it? I like it as, as much as I would like to get stabbed to death. Man, screw you. I worked very hard on this. You worked hard for this? Well, at least I didn't show up with one ski mask or the saddest water guns I've seen. No, you showed up with a bike monstrosity called the threesome. Fellas, why don't we all just calm down? Calm down? How do you expect us to calm down when this idiot is our getaway driver? You screamed when you had a water gun shot at you. Fellas, fellas, we have a job to do. Come on, we're a team. And like a team will act. Just after today, we'll be rich beyond our wildest dreams. We could go anywhere. We could do anything. People like us, we have to stick together. We're misfits, freaks, burdens on society. After today, we'll show them, we'll show them all. Soon, we'll be the ones unsubscribing from them and canceling them. Now who's with me? What did you say? I just gave the most kick-ass inspirational speech of all time and you weren't even listening? Nope. All you were doing that, Marcus Jerus and me made up. Best inspirational speech of my life. Gone to waste. Sorry you feel that way, clown. But let's go get us some money cash. plan, right? Yeah. Wait till you guys come back with the money and then step on the gas. All right. Good. Good. We'll be five minutes. Maximum. Yeah, okay. Don't get nervous. Yeah. Okay. Let's go then. What are you doing on a lemonade stand? Okay. Okay. We can do this. We can do this. This will be easy, just calm down. It will be easy to take care of. Just grab the money and get away. I don't know, man. It's quite simple. Okay, all right. Let's go. Give us the money right now! Now, why would I do that? That doesn't seem very smart. Oh yeah? How about now? Ah! Water! Anything but that! Please, don't shoot! I'm just trying to do my job correctly. Here, you take it. Is this all you have? Yes, it is. Please don't shoot. Okay, good. See, this wasn't so hard. Now let's bounce.
Where's King Gamer? Where is he? You won't be seeing him for quite some time. Ah, G-Man. And this must be Marco Cerus, that clown. Nice to see you guys. I gotta say, this was an interesting plan of yours. Robbing a lemonade stand. I mean, that's easy money. But not with me, though. You think you can rob my establishment and get away with it? Nah. Me and my partner aren't that stupid. Partner? Who's your partner? I am. G-Man. Marcos Jerus. You see, me and Greg have been dating for quite some time now. Even back when you thought you were happy in a couple together. It was nice, but eventually we felt as if we needed a vacation. So rather than save up for like a normal couple, we decided to hatch an elaborate plan to make money to fund the vacation. We saw your horrible song that you produced on your own, how it flopped, and we knew that with a little push, you were gonna try again. So we made the commercial, and we knew only someone as stupid as you would pay attention to the commercial. Lo and behold, I was right. You called Awesome Crusher 15, signed the contract, and it was done. So that's how you got your money. With my hard work. Your hard work? You didn't do shit. I produced the song. I made the beat. I even had to put up with you singing about my boyfriend. All you did was create the worst lyrics I've ever heard. And I'm sorry to hurt your ego like this, but your song didn't even make me that, that much money. It wasn't even enough to fund the trip to Toronto. It was, however, enough for me to start my own lemonade business. And what do those places do? They make bank. Exactly. Enough bank for a trip to the Caribbean. What? I thought we were going to Disney World. But the Caribbean's so much nicer this time of year. But I want to see Goofy. Whatever, we'll settle this later. It's been nice catching up with you guys. But we have a business to run. Goodbye. What? Ah! Ah! Ah!